Roll your shoulders back and down. Allow the chest to be open. Begin to follow your breath. Notice the rise and fall of the breath. Notice the rhythm of your breath. And as you follow your breath, See if you can sense the quality of your breath. Is it smooth? Is it a little ragged? And see if as you bring your awareness to the, to the breathing, to the rhythm, to the rise and fall, if you're a little ragged, try to smooth out the breath. If your breath is smooth and comes easily, and perhaps try to lengthen the inhale and match the length of the exhale to that. And then bring your hands to rest at your ribs. And bring your awareness to your hands. And how they encircle the ribs. And now as you breathe, breathe horizontally. Spread the ribs wide, let them gently press into your palms. And then exhale. Inhale, spread your ribs wide. And exhale. Take a few more breaths, breathing horizontally, letting the diaphragm do the work for you. And then release your arms down by your sides. <clears throat> and just pause for a moment. Take your arms up and reach them all the way behind you. Stretch the arms and actually stretch your legs. Take the legs long and stretch the entire body. And then bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Open and close your hands, spread your fingers, and then make a loose fist. And just open and close the hands. Move all the joints and the fingers. And then make some circles with your wrists. And then go in the opposite direction. Flip your palms up to the ceiling and point the fingers down and just wave your hands up and down.
Bring the palms together, interlace your fingers, and turn the palms up to the ceiling. Press the palms away, press down through your heels, and then take your folded hands behind you, stretch the palms away, and again, gently press down through your heels, and then release the interlace of your hands, wiggle your fingers, and bring your arms up to the ceiling with the palms facing one another. And then shrug your shoulders up off your bolster and place them down. Reach them up and shrug them off and place them down. And one more time, shrug your shoulders up and then place them down. Hold on to opposite elbows and take them behind you. Let them rest either on your pillow or on your forehead, whichever feels best. And then just breathe. Take a moment to feel the legs, feel the back body resting on the blanket or on the mat. If you're on a bolster, feel the lift in your chest and an openness underneath your arms. And then bring the folded arms up and let them hover above your ribs and just make some circles around with your shoulders to lubricate your shoulders. And then slide the arms over to the left. Take your gaze right. And then look right and gaze left. Reach your arms to the ceiling and refold your arms, bring the other forearm in front, lower them down and make circles in the other direction. And pause and draw the arms to the right, gaze left. And then draw the arms left, gaze right. Take your arms up to the ceiling, take them all the way behind you. Stretch through your fingers, press down through your heels and out through the soles of your feet. And then exhale, bring your arms down by your sides. Pause for a moment. And walk your hands down towards your Feet. Press the hands down onto the mat to lift the chest and relax and press the hands down. Let the chest lift up and release. And one more time, press the hands down, lift the chest, feel the shoulders come together. And then relax. And then just bring your palms to face one another, but with your elbows on the floor. And then draw your elbows up so they're even with your shoulders, like you have cactus arms. And then just let the arms drop back so that the backs of the hands come towards the floor. You feel a great big stretch across the front of the body. So opening the front of the body at this time of year is really good because so, many, so much of our time is spelt, spent sort of huddling in, trying to keep warm, trying to keep um, so we, we sort of close the front body. So this gives us an opportunity to open the front body. And then bring the arms back to stand on your elbows and parallel. You can bring them in towards your ribs and press the elbows down into the floor with the chest. And relax. And one more time, press the elbows down. Let the chest lift up, lift up and relax. You can release your arms down towards the mat and then scrunch and spread your toes and point and flex your feet. Make some circles with your ankles. And then go the other way. Bring your big toes together and tap the big toes together. And windshield wipe your feet. Slide your heels and tap the backs of the legs. Bend your knees and roll to one side. 
if you're a bolster. Otherwise, just stay down on the mat. I always forget that not everybody has a bolster. So I'm going to take my bolster to the top of the mat, bring my blanket down as my pillow, and I'm going to come back down onto my mat. My knees are bent, my feet are flat on the floor. And just lift your hips up slightly, slide the butt flush down towards your heels to elongate your spine. Walk your hands down towards your feet or hold on to the edges of your mat and draw the arms down towards your feet. Again, we get that little bit of a lift in the chest when we do that. And then press your feet down, press the lower back into the mat by doing a pelvic tilt and release, press your feet, press the back into the back, and release and press your feet, press the back into the mat, and release and rock your knees gently, just a couple inches to each side, from side to side. Just beginning to warm up the glutes, get the hips moving. And then bring your knees into your chest, rock them in and out. Take them a little wider and rock from side to side. And then <clears throat> rock in and out again. And let your knees fall away. Hold on to the tops of the knees with your hands and make some circles around the low back and sacrum. And then pause and go the other way. Draw your knees in towards your chest, rock them in and out. And extend the legs up, hold on behind your thighs. Press your hands into your thighs, thighs into your hands. And then point and flex the feet again. And make a few circles. Go the other way. And then bend your thighs in towards your ribs. Stretch the legs up. Bend your thighs in and stretch the legs up and bend the thighs in and rock in and out. Rock side to side. Bring the soles of the feet together, hold on to your ankles and let your elbows rest on the inner thighs. And then bring the feet to the floor. Press your feet into the floor, press the lower back into the mat. And release. And then extend your arms and your legs and stretch your body. Point your toes, do a pelvic tilt. And then bring the left knee in towards your chest and rock it in and out. And then bring the left knee over to your right shoulder. And bring the left knee to the left shoulder. And then make some circles with your left hip. And then pause and go the other way. Throw your thigh in towards your ribs, and then reach your leg up, hold on behind the thigh, and bend and straighten your leg. And then press the leg up and rock your thigh in towards your chest. So bring a little bend in your knee and just rock in and out. And then straighten your leg, walk your hands up, straighten the back of your leg and stretch any amount so that you open up the back of the hands, the hamstrings, the back of your knee. Be careful not to overstretch here as we tend to 
Well, I tend to do that, which is why I always have this nagging hamstring issue. And now bend your knee, bring the arch of the left foot to the right knee, and then take your knee over towards the right. And keep your eyes to the ceiling. And then grab a block, bring it up around your, sort of near your left hip. And then as you draw the left knee up, let it drop out to the side and let your knee rest on the block for a moment. Release the outer hip and open up the inner thigh and groin. Just a little. Extend both legs and reach your arms up and stretch the body. And then bring your right leg in and rock the knee in and out. And then bring your right knee towards the left shoulder. And then bring it towards the right shoulder. And now make some circles with your right hip. And pause and go the other way. Bring your thigh in towards your ribs. And then reach the leg up. Press your thigh into your hands, hands into your thigh. Maybe point and flex again if you feel like you want to. And then bend and straighten your leg. Just bring the thigh in and press the leg up. So try and keep the sole of your foot towards the ceiling as you draw the thigh in. And then just rock your thigh in and out. Keep a slight bend in your knee. And then pause and rock your hands up to your ankle or your shin. And then straighten the back of the, straighten your leg. Again, be careful not to overstretch here. And then bring the arch of your right foot to the left knee and take your knee over to the left. You might want to just grab a block and bring it to your right side. Maybe a little higher than your hip. And then draw the knee over. Let your right knee drop out to the side. Actually, I guess it's a little lower than your right hip. Which makes sense because your knee is below your hip. So <laughs> just pause here for a moment. And now bring both feet to the floor about hip distance apart and rock your knees from side to side. And now take them a little further as you rock from side to side. And then take them all the way over to the left. Come back up and take them to the right. Come back up, take them all the way over to the left. Pause here for a moment. Come back up to the middle and take them over all the way to the right and pause here for a moment. Come back up to the center, press the feet into the floor, press the lower back into the mat and release. Take your feet a little wider, not quite as wide as your mat yet. Press the feet and press the back into the mat. And release. And now take them as wide as your mat. Press your feet and press the back into the mat. And release. And then take your block and take it the long way and place it right between your thighs. Turn the toes in towards one another. Now, if you don't have a block, you can just bring your knees together 
and press your feet into the mat, press the back into the mat and gently squeeze the block or press the knees together. And release and press the feet, press the back and the block. And release and one more time, press your feet, press the block, press the lower back into the mat and then release and keep your feet now take your feet about hip distance apart keep the block in between your thighs and bring your knees in towards your chest and rock them in and out and if you don't have a block you can just rock in and out and then rock side to side And then bring your feet to the floor, set the block aside. Take the left ankle over the right knee. Use your left hand to roll open your left hip and bring the knees into your chest, rock them in and out. Lower the right foot to the floor, cross the left leg all the way over. Bring your knees in and rock. We haven't done this in a while, but I thought we would do reclined eagle. So remember, here you want to bring your shins parallel to the floor. Try to stack your knees over your hips. And then take your right, right, I'm sorry, left ankle and either bring it next to the right ankle or tuck it underneath the right ankle. And then wrap your arms with the right arm on top, left arm under. You can bring the palms together or hold on to opposite shoulders and then just breathe draw your navel into your spine one more breath release your arms release your legs and rock your knees take your feet as wide as your mat rock your knees from side to side and then bring the feet back to hip distance apart and take your right ankle over the left knee. Use your right hand to roll open the right hip and then bring your knees into your chest and rock them in and up. And lower the left foot, bring the right leg all the way over. Draw the knees in and rock in and out. And then bring your shins parallel to the floor. Tuck the right foot next to or underneath the left ankle. Stack your knees over your hips. And this time when you wrap your arms, left arm on top of the right. And pause. Draw the navel in. Two more breaths. And then release the legs and the arms. Take your feet as wide as your mat, rock your knees from side to side. And then extend your legs, reach and stretch. And then bring your arms down by your sides, bend your knees. If you have something under your head, you can remove it for now. Bring your arms down by your sides. Press the forearms down, press your shoulders down and gently lift your hips up. And then exhale and lower. Press the palms down, press your shoulders down, lift your hips. And then lower down. And one more time, press the arms, press the shoulders down, press your feet and lift up your hips. And then just drop the hips a little and lift them up. Drop the hips a little and lift them up. Drop the hips a little and lift them up. And now slowly lower down. Bring your knees into your chest and rock in and out. Lower 
Rock side to side. Bring your feet to the floor, stretch your arms and your legs. Press through your, uh, point your toes, do a pelvic tilt. And then exhale your arms by your sides, roll to your side and bring yourself up to a seated position. Then bring your hands to your knees. Close your eyes. And as you sit here, see if you can relax all the muscles in your face. And then squeeze the muscles and relax and squeeze and let them go and squeeze and let them go and lift your eyes up to 12 o'clock make some circles with your eyes And then lift the eyes to 12 again and make circles in the other direction. And lift the eyes to 12, take them to nine, cross to three and down to six. And then just let the eyes float back. And bring your index finger and middle finger to your temples and just make some circles around the temples. And go the other way. And then slide them down to where your jaws come together. And then a little bit of pressure and then just make some circles. and then go the other way. And then just release. Try and keep that softness in the face. <coughs> turn your head to the right. And then turn your head left. Come back to the middle and with your exhale, lower your chin to the chest. Gently roll the left ear to the left shoulder. Keep your chin tucked in. And then roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Come back to the middle and gently slowly lift your chin back to parallel and then blink open your eyes, round your back and lift your chest and round your back and lift up and round your back and lift your chest. And then take your arms up, turn the palms and exhale, release. Reach your arms up, turn the palms and exhale. Inhale, reach your arms up. Interlace your palms, press them up to the ceiling. And then bring the backs of your hands to your chest and press your palms away. And bring the backs of the hands in and reach your arms up. 
and then release your arms, roll your shoulders. And reverse. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a hum. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. And then bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee or on top of your right knee. And take the right hand behind you, soften your lower back and twist ribs, chest, and shoulders. And then come back, bring the right hand to the left knee, press the hand against the knee, draw the navel in, soften the back, and twist ribs, chest, and shoulders. And then come back to the center, change the cross of your legs. And just slide forward. Go to wherever is comfortable for you. And walk over your right thigh, stretch through the left arm. And then walk over to the left thigh and stretch through your right arm. And then come back to the middle, walk yourself up. Bring your feet to the floor and, run, and rock your knees from side to side. And then take the feet about hip distance apart, reach through, press your fingertips down and around your back. And then extend your legs and hinge forward. Bend your knees. And reach through, press down with your fingers around your back. And then reach through, and I'm sorry, then extend your legs and um, hinge forward. And then bend your knees and reach through, round your back. And then extend your legs, slide your heels and tap them. Hold on behind your knees and take your legs out wide. And then roll the thigh flesh down towards the floor. And come forward. Press, walk your hands a little forward. Press down with your palms and lift up your chest. And then walk yourself up and take your left knee, bring it in to your right thigh. Good. And then just reach down to the right leg, turn your left, turn your, bring your left hand to your left hip, turn the body a little bit to the left, and then reach up with the left arm and bring it next to your ear. Good. And then come back up and then take the left leg wide. And now take the right leg, bring it into your thigh. Take your right hand, uh, I'm sorry, left hand to your left shin, right hand to your right hip. Reach up with the arm and then stretch. And we're going to the left, stretch left, good. And then come back up, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees drop out. <clears throat> and then bring the feet flat to the floor again, rock your knees from side to side. Extend the legs, slide your heels. And then just hinge forward Press into your legs, lift up your chest, and then come all the way back up. And you can come up onto your hands and knees. Um, and just 
do a couple of cat cow poses while I just take my blanket off. And just round your back and lift up your chest. And then press your hips back, bring your big toes together and separate the knees and come back and rest in child's pose, but bring your forehead to a block or stack your fists. And then come up to sit on your heels. Reach up with the right arm and stretch left. And come back and then reach up with the left arm, stretch right. Come back up, reach both arms up. Come forward and round your back. And lift your chest. And round your back. And lift your chest. And then come to a neutral spine. Take your right arm and left leg up. Keep your gaze down at the mat, draw the navel up and in, and reach your arm and leg away from one another. And release. And then take the left arm, right leg up. And release. Right arm, left leg. And lower, left arm, right leg. And lower, round your back. And lift your chest. Come back to a neutral spine and step your left foot forward. Take your blocks to either side of your left foot and use your blocks at the height that's best for you. Scoot your left, your right leg back any amount that's comfortable. Flatten the foot. Press into your blocks to lift your chest. And then reach your arms up for crescent lunge. Good. Bring your hands to your blocks and step your left foot back. Step your right foot forward. Good, press into your blocks, lift up your chest, reach your arms up. And then bring your hands down to your blocks, step the left foot, I'm sorry, the right foot back. Press your hips back, leave your arms on your blocks and let the arms stretch. And then glide forward, Lower your hips, press into your blocks, lift up your chest. Good. And then press back. Come forward, press into your blocks, lift up. Now careful not to sink, don't sink down into your shoulders. Keep lifted up out of your shoulders. And then press back. And the way to do that is to press into your blocks. And then come forward, really press your hands down, lift up your chest. Now, if you think you can do it, you can press your feet into the floor, lift up your legs, lift the thighs up, and then lower the knees down, press back to extended child's pose. And bring the arms down, stack your fists, and let your forehead rest on your fists. And while you're here, take a few breaths, but think about breathing into the back of your heart, breathing into the back of your lungs. So spread the back as you inhale, feel those lungs, the back lungs fill.
and then come back up to table and step your feet forward. <coughs> come into forward fold. Uttanasana. Good. Bend and straighten your knees. And now bend your knees a lot. Press your hips back to the wall behind you. Bring the weight into the heels. And then straighten up. Bend your knees. Bring the weight into your heels. And then straighten up. And then just let go of your blocks, hold on to opposite elbows, keep a little bend in your knees, and just rock from side to side and ragdoll. And then release your hands, bend your knees, plant the hands, step your feet back for downward facing dog. So come up onto your toes and lower one heel and then the other. And then come up onto both toes and lower your heels down towards the mat. Remember, it's not necessary to get your heels down on the mat. And then glide forward to plank. Bring your shoulders over your wrists and keep the body parallel to the floor. And then press back to downward dog. Look forward to your hands and walk or step your feet forward to forward fold. And then bend your knees, inhale, reach up. Exhale and fold forward. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step your feet back or downward facing dog. Glide forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. And then look forward to your hands. Walk or step your feet forward. The forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale, come all the way up. And then bring your hands to your heart. Pause in Tadasana. Bend your knees and roll your shoulders. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale hug. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips and step uh, your right foot back. And have your right toes point slightly to the edge of your mat. Have your feet staggered and then turn your right hip forward and your left hip back. Reach your arms up and then bend your left knee. And then fold forward, take your hands behind you. And inhale, lift up. Exhale and fold forward. And inhale, lift up. And now take your arms to your sides and straighten the front leg. And then bend and reach your arms up. Take the left arm forward and the right arm back. Reach your arms up and take the right arm forward, left arm back. And then reach up, reach your arms to the ceiling, straighten the left leg, bring your hands to your hips and step forward. And then step back with your left foot. Turn your left hip forward, right hip back. Good. Lift your chest, reach your arms up, bend your right knee. Hinge forward, take your hands behind you. 
and then reach up, pinch forward. Inhale and reach up. Take your arms to your side, straighten the front leg. And then take the arms up and bend. Take your right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, reach up. And take the left arm forward, right arm back. Good. And inhale, reach up. Reach your fingertips to the ceiling, straighten your front leg, bring your hands to your hips and step forward. Good. Take your blocks to the top of your mat. Just one second, just one second. Uh, just trying to, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this from the other angle because I have not enough room here. So. I'm just going to do it from the other end. So we're going to work on warrior three. We're going to do it in a couple of ways. You don't have to change your direction if you don't want to. I just didn't have enough room there. So first, take your blocks in front of your feet and have them be just about hip distance. Your feet are going to be just about hip distance apart. Okay, and press into your blocks. And then just lift your right leg up. Keep your toes pointed down towards the floor and press into your blocks. And then lower the right foot. And now take the left leg up. Keep the toes pointed down. That will help to keep your hip pointed down as well. And then lower the left foot. Bend your knees and roll yourself up. Bring your hands to your hips and step back with your right foot. Reach your arms up and then bend your left knee. So we're in warrior one. Pinch forward, bring your ribs to your thighs, bring your hands onto your blocks. Spin your right heel up towards the ceiling and then press into your left foot, lift up. Again, keep those toes on the right foot pointing down to the floor. Now bend your left knee, reach back with your right leg, and then slowly release the blocks, inhale, come up again to warrior one, reach your arms up, straighten your front leg, Bring your hands to your hips and step forward. All right, step back with the left foot. Turn the left hip forward, right hip back and reach your arms up and then bend your right knee. Lean over your right knee, bring your ribs right to your thighs, bring your hands to your blocks. Spin the left heel up so that it's pointing towards the ceiling. You're on your right, you're on your left toes. And now press into the right foot, lift up. Bend your right leg, reach back with your left foot. Release the blocks, inhale slowly and come up, reach your arms up, straighten your front leg, bring your hands to your hips and step forward. All right, so now we're gonna try it without blocks, but you're, I'm gonna instruct you without the blocks, but if you wanna use the blocks, use the blocks because it's a little bit, you know, we're still early-ish. Maybe we have, haven't had enough coffee, who knows. <laughs> but balance is, you know, very unique thing. All right, so I'm gonna have my blocks in front of me, but I'm gonna try this without the blocks. Bring your hands to your hips. Step back with the right foot. Reach your arms up. Bend your left knee, hinge forward, 
Turn your heel to the ceiling, press into your left leg and come up, warrior three. Bend your left knee, reach back with the right leg, come back up to warrior one. Straighten your leg, bring your hands to your hips and step forward. And then step back with your left foot. Turn the left hip forward, right hip back. Reach your arms up. Bend your right knee. Hinge over that right thigh. Spin the heel up to the ceiling and then lift up. Bend your right knee, reach back with the left leg. Come back to warrior one. Reach your arms up, straighten your left leg, bring your hands to your hips and step forward. Good. All right. So let's just do, let's just do a tree, but first do a few hip circles. and then go the other way. Good. Bring your feet together. Bring your hands to your hips. Find a focal point and fix your gaze. Press into the left big toe and big toe mound, and then reach for your right foot. You can bring it either to your ankle, your calf, or if it's in your practice, up into your thigh. Good. When you're ready, you can take your arms up or bring them just to Anjali Mudra, which is hands to the heart, sorry. And then release your arms and release your leg. Bring your hands to your hips. <clears throat> Find your focal point and fix your gaze. Press into the right big toe and right big toe mound. And then take the left foot to either the ankle, your calf, or up into your thigh. Bring your hands to your heart or all the way up. And then release your arms and release your leg. And you can just sort of bend and straighten each knee. And then step to the top of your mat, reach your arms up, hinge forward. Step your feet back to come down onto your knees. And then slide your feet to one side, roll onto one hip. And hold on behind your knees and then slowly roll down. And as you roll down, bring your knees into your chest and rock them in and out. And rock a little bit from side to side. Bring your feet to the floor and extend the legs. Extend your arms and stretch your body. And then exhale your arms down by your sides and you can prepare for Shavasana. Bring your awareness back to your breath.
Relax your legs. Relax your hips. Relax your belly and your chest. Relax your shoulders and the skin on your neck. Relax your face and the skin of your scalp. And as you rest here on your mat, feel your body grow deeper and heavier as it sinks down in total relaxation. This is called breath. Breath, the mindful breath, the rhythm out and in, the wave that washes through our days, creating space for stillness, sorrow, joy, or exaltation. Full, then empty, ebb and flow. Breath accompanies each step into the unknown. In the breath, the soul finds an opportunity to speak. Images or intuition, poetry or wordless wisdom come and go. No effort but to breathe and listen. Begin to bring some movement back into your bodies. Draw your knees in towards your chest. And then slowly roll to your right side. Take a long, slow, deep breath in and a long, slow, complete breath out, the ebb and flow of breath. And then slowly bring yourself up to come and sit in a comfortable seated position. And bring your hands to the center of your chest. And just lower your head. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Namaste.